let's pick a nice rolling bass and with that okay for example this is the one from my bank called Breja and it's pretty pretty chilly bass line so let's make we're gonna be using that one just gonna call it sub that's gonna be our sub bass but then I'm gonna be also needing something that you know have that uh, long bass line sound. So for that, I'm, I can use Serum. I have one nice bass there, or I can use Diva. I'm, I'm deciding to use Diva in this case. And there's this one sound over here that I recently did. Working on a sample pack for this, uh, so, by the way. And I think it's this one, Voodoo. Sounds like this. <laughs> So you can see this is a mono instrument, okay, diva. But you can turn it into stereo with some simple little tricks. But for this bass line, we just want it to be mono. Now, the preset is basically sounding like a Moog. It's using this Moog uh, preset. And we're just going to increase the cutoff a little bit. And let's make some super simple bass in the MIDI clip. Now, in, in trance, we would usually go that we will make the bass like every bar. In this, uh, as I said, you want to make stuff a little bit groovy, so we can also make a little bit of a syncopated rhythm. So let's see what we can come up with. I actually made a simple bass earlier today, but let's start from scratch. So I'm going to make my life super easy, and I'm going to go A minor. And then I can just move it up and down, depending on how, how my bass sounds. So let's start with this. All the way down. Yeah, and let's just get that one eight off. Uh, maybe we can go up. Let's see. Let's try go up. And maybe to G. Make make my life super like super simple melody. So, so that's my start. Of course, this needs to be sidechained. So the first thing I'm gonna grab is the LFO tool, of course. And I'm gonna need some EQ. So just a normal EQ. Now what I'm gonna do with this bass line, I'm gonna change this as it is, and I'm gonna just cut out everything below 90 Hertz. I don't want the low ends. I just, because for the low end, I'm gonna be using the rolling bass line, okay? Because I don't want to sidechain this like all the way. Because then it just, you know, sounds a little bit weird. And I want to have that movement in there. Nice. So now I know my simple bass line. So I can do the other bass, the, the big one. Let me just. Over here. And. I want to do it almost like Psytrance, sort of. So, I think I was in, ah, oh, Tipor, Tipor. So, the C and G. And remember that we had this little syncopated rhythm there. So, this is our sub. I'm going to turn it down as well. Let's have a quick listen. Nice. For a simple one, pretty cool. Let's put the LFO tool there and of course again the EQ. Now I'm gonna also put EQ here on the kick, but I'm just gonna be cutting at 10 Hertz on just normal, keeping that low end nice and soft. But on the sub, I'm just gonna cut out around 40 Hertz like this. Again, with just a normal 12 dB per octave. So let's have a quick listen. First, just to kick and bass. Nice. And for this one, I can go all the way. Let's have a look at the kick and bass, how they work together. You already know this little trick from previous masterclasses. By the way, don't forget, you can ask questions as I go, okay? Don't hesitate. Here we go. So I can straight away see that my bass line is super loud. So I'm going to put it down. That's maybe too much. Let's go minus nine. 
and I don't like so much that high end, so I'm going to re reduce the filter a little bit, so it's just like bubbly. And I can increase the sustain just so it doesn't go down, but it keeps the level. A little bit more probably here as well. Yeah, nice. Now it sounds pretty cool. We have a nice warm low end. Nice. And now let's play it with the Diva and let's see how it sounds. Beautiful. So first of all, I'm going to reduce that plate reverb here. It's a little bit too much. And then reuse this envelope. And some low end. Tiny little bit more of this side chain. Nice. It's starting nice. So this is going to be the, the basic thing. Now, what you see, you have the sub and you have this little like longer bass line, which is, you know, filling the space. Now, this would be super nice to have if it was like this, but we can make this a little bit more, you know, nicer. So let's maybe add some little like transitional bass lines. Let's see how it's going to sound. Yeah, and, and suddenly it's starting to sound different. I can look at the glide here on the Diva. I see I have a little bit of glide. So how about I let these notes glide into each other. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more of that glide. Nice. One thing I'm missing in this bass line now, it's a little bit of noise, so I'm gonna increase that white noise a little bit more. And a little bit more cutoff. Woo, nice, that's it. So now it's a little bit too loud, so again, I'm just gonna put it down. Now, many people would say, okay, I love this, this is perfect. Thank you, next. No, we need to make the sound full. And to make it full, it needs to be saturated. So for that, I prefer using the Fab Filter Saturn 2, which is a little bit more expensive plugin, but it does the job. So I'm gonna put it right here after the Diva. Click over here, go to color, and just use this little preset called Tape Smash 2. It's all I need to do. Turn the volume down by 2 dB and just go. So it like fills it up, it makes it like, you know, fat. If I need to make it a little bit more fat, I can increase that uh, plate reverb just a tiny bit, make it a little bit darker here, and decrease the decay. Then maybe add some pre-delay. Let's try without chores. I actually like it with the chores. So that's our starter. Let's continue. Now let's add a little bit more movement to the whole thing. Uh, I would think maybe a pluck. 